Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm continuing my series on must know music production terms. And our focus for this tutorial is the delay plugin. Now we'll be looking at terms such as feedback, delay time, modulation, wet dry output, filters, and some more terms related to delay plugins. Now let's get into it. Okay, so before we actually get stuck into explaining the different terminology associated with a delay plugin, we need to kind of get just a basic understanding of what it does. So essentially a delay plugin or a delay unit is a time-based effect. And what it does in its simplest form is it allows you to automatically create repeats of a signal, whether a vocal, an instrument, or an effect. Now, here's an example of how this might be used. Hey squad, hey squad. Welcome, hey back. Squad. welcome back. Welcome back. Now, as you can hear, I've got a little clip of my intro there, and I've added this tape delay, and you're getting something like an echo effect. Now, that's a really basic use of a delay unit. However, this can be used as an incredibly powerful production tool to not only sweeten your mixes, but also add real character to some of your sounds. Now, it's also important to recognize that a delay plugin is one of the standard effects that you'll get with every single door out there. And this one is the Logic Pro X tape delay. And now we're in Ableton Live and this here is the filter delay. We're in Pro Tools now and this is the dynamic delay in Pro Tools. Now all three of these are stock delay plugins that you'll get in all three of these doors. You must check out my comparison videos where I compare delay plugins in Logic Pro X, Pro Tools and Ableton Live. Now this will give you a broader insight into the different delay plugins available in all three doors. And let's take a closer look at the actual controls on these three. As standard, all of them have a delay time section. They all have a feedback section. They all have a filter section as well as an output section. These are the four standard characteristics of a delay plugin. Now you've got extra bits like modulation and character in this logic one, and the others have got their own unique features, but the key functions are these four that I've outlined. And now we're gonna dig down into this and figure out what each of these sections actually do. Now the track I'm using for the demonstration is a track I've recently released called Will I Ever Know? And here's a little sample of it. Okay, so we're gonna be using this Logic Tape Delay as our demonstration tool for this whole tutorial. And one of the first things we need to recognize is your delay plugin can be inserted essentially in two areas. Insert it into your channel strip just like so, or you can insert it into a bus like over here, and then you can bleed in however much of the effect you want. However, for this demonstration, we're gonna be using it directly on the channel strip. Now let's start off with this one right here, which is called the delay or delay time. And again, you will find this on every single delay unit you come across. Now the delay time essentially is the timing of the repeats. And there are two modes in which you can have this. You can have this in tempo sync mode or a freehand adjustable mode where you select and determine what the delay time is in milliseconds, okay? Now, the advantage of working in tempo sync mode means that your repeated signal will fall in time with the tempo of your song. And if we click here, we've got a load of different options as to what interval repeats occur. So you can have a quarter note, eighth note, half note, dotted notes, or triplets. So let me demonstrate real quick with this hi-hat right here, what we're talking about. So we're in tempo sync mode, we're on quarter note, and let's set this up with the dry all the way up and the wet down here. We'll go into this more in a little while. Okay, so this is our hi-hat without the effect applied. Okay, very simple pattern. And now we're gonna switch on the delay and we're gonna set it to say 16th note interval and we're gonna increase the wet. And now I'm gonna bypass the delay. 
and back on. Okay, let's change the delay time to eighth note. And let's try that. Okay, and let's try uh, a dotted, let's try a dotted 16th note. Let's see what happens there. Okay, so you can come up with some really creative patterns by just using a delay plugin on your hi-hat. Now let's just work our way around. We've established what, what the delay function is. Basically, that's your timing, okay? Now over here, we've got feedback. And our feedback is the number of repeats that occur after your signal is sounded. Now, if you come all the way down to zero, that means only one repeat will occur. You can go all the way up to 580 percent but that's crazy if you go from 50 percent or above you end up getting a continuous looping effect which actually can build up into something quite horrible as you become more experienced you can use that creatively let's mess with this and see what happens as we adjust the feedback Cool. Now looking at the output section, now the dry control is the volume of your unaffected signal and the wet is volume of the repeat. So let's turn this off and then bleed it in and you'll hear what I'm talking about. Okay, and let's bring this in. Okay. Cool. So as you can hear, the more wet I bring in, the louder the repeats are. We've covered the delay time. We've covered the feedback, which is the number of repeats. And we've covered the output, the wet and dry section. Now, the other thing that we need to uh, understand is the filter. And the filter is fantastic because now we can isolate and we can hone in on certain frequencies. We can use it as a high pass filter, a, a low pass filter or a band pass filter by selecting the range of frequencies that we want to have repeated. So if we wish to use it as a high pass filter and only have the very high end of these hi-hats playing, let's have a listen to what occurs now. I'm gonna turn off the dry so you can hear just the wet signal. We can open that up some more. Okay. And now you can just determine exactly what range you want to have repeated. Okay. We're going to demonstrate this with the full drum kit in a minute. Cool. And that's it in terms of the main functions of your delay. We're going to look at character and modulation in just a second. Okay. So now let's try this with the full drum kit. So I've got all of my drum kits sent to a single bus and I've got this delay plugin across the bus. So here's the drums on their own. Now, now we're going to switch this on. We're going to go with the one eighth dotted interval and then we'll mess around with the feedback and the wet dry controls as well as the filter. At the moment, I've got a bandpass filter set up, but we're going to mess around with all of this and let's just see what we can come up with creatively. Bypass. Okay, and let's go.
All right, let's try a different interval. Let's go for a 16th note. Bypass. Cool, so you get the idea. So by, um, by messing with the timing, as well as the amount of repeats and the volume of those repeats, you can come up with some really interesting effects. Now let's try something with some vocals. Okay, so let's have a go at messing with some of these other features that you'd find on the Logic Tape Delay plugin. We're gonna experiment with this short vocal recording. Now here's the vocal without the delay. And with the delay switched on, but we're going to mess about with some of the parameters. I'll play this back with some drums and some additional vocals behind. And then let's just see what interesting characteristics we can add by messing with the feedback, the character and the modulation section down here. Let's try this. Okay, so as you can hear, I've gone, I pushed the feedback past 50% and we're getting some distortion now and I'm messing with the clip threshold here. If I go this way, the distortion is uh, more harsh and pronounced, whereas this way it's softer. So I'm just gonna mess with this and, and this is the spread of the distortion. So let's try this by moving the clip threshold to either side and having a listen to that. Okay, now that's interesting. Now let's mess with uh, the tape head mode. Uh, this is to emulate the tape head on old school tape machines. Now you've got the clean uh, position as well as the diffuse. And let's see what difference it makes when we switch between the two. So we're getting a bit of a warbly effect when I've got the diffuse setting switched on. And now we're coming over to the modulation section. Now this here will give us again, some sort of chorusing type effect. Now this is how much um, of the effect we're going to hear. And this is the intensity of the LFO. So let's bring that in and let's see what we get. Okay, so you can hear it really moving around there. And now let's uh, mess with the flutter. Now the flutter, again, represents old school tape machines and the sort of inconsistencies in the tape speed and operation of tape machines. So let's play that back. And again, we're gonna mess with this and see what we get.
turn it off. Okay, flutter back on. Okay, so I mean, these are extreme settings by just using these sparingly and creatively, you can come up with some really interesting effects on your processed signal. Now, the smoothing effect is actually to smooth out or to even things out on this modulation section, okay? So you can use this to taste just to kind of round things off a bit. And um, that's it really. I mean, we've covered all of the key areas. I mean, the most important things that you need to bear in mind are, are the delay time, the feedback, filter, and the output section. These other bits are just to add that extra bit of flavoring if you need to. But in the main, you really don't need to touch these if you're just gonna go for straightforward repeats and sweetening of your signal. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial useful and I'm coming back with some more real soon. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment if you're digging what I'm doing. And remember also to switch on your notification bell so when my next video drop, you'll find out straight away. And I'll be back again real soon. I'm Dr. Deuce, peace. <laughs>